In this video, I will present how you can download the peer-to-peer -peer system simulator Perfect Sim. For that, please go to the website www.perfect.org. On this homepage, you find the uh, details about the simulator, some screenshots and video descriptions, and also um, a documentation how to download it. At first, you need to download um, the perfect sim code and two data packets for global network positioning. The quick start guide described in the lower of the site describes the step by step uh, how you have to proceed. So first you need to install Java Development Kit 1.6 and it's in Eclipse. Download then both files. And then you have to unzip them. Make sure that you copy the global network positioning files that are required for appropriate uh, network modeling in the corresponding uh, folder. The corresponding folder is a data folder in the simulator. So we place them there and we unzip them. The first file is the measured data XML and the second file is the mod measured data XML. The zip files we don't need anymore. <coughs> Make sure that the files are also correctly placed in your Eclipse folder. So in this case I have to shift them around. So this is my uh, workspace. It's called Workspace 2 and there I have the simulator folder pfxsim.com version 4. Next I start Eclipse. Sorry. Next I start Eclipse. The detailed description tells us, so we unzip the files, we place the two unzipped network coordinate files in the data folder of the simulator and we copy the simulator folder in our Eclipse workspace. That's good. So now we will open Eclipse and add a new Java, Java project and we will name it like the simulator folder. <coughs> so, where's Eclipse? Here we have Eclipse. Um, let's close it all. We don't need that. And that one we close as well. And now we create a new Java project. Java project and make sure that it's named like the corresponding uh, folder with the sources of perfect sim. Next. Everything's fine. So here we have the folders of perfect sim. <coughs> what you find under the source folder is a set of um, folders, a, little, a set of packages, and we have a separation according to the API in the simulator, so analyzers, applications, overlays, networks, services, storage, and the corresponding implementation. For example, in the overlay we have uh, DHTs, which cover Cord, Cademlia, Napster, Pastry, CAN. Or we have a network um, with um, global network positioning, some mobile network, some modular. And the global network positioning folder and the modular framework um, need the corresponding files. So now what we do next is 
according to the description, we right click on a new project and build it. Okay. So now we are building the simulator and hopefully it doesn't contain any errors. Yes. So now the documentation on the website tells us we have two so three options to to start the simulation. The first and simplest way is to run it with a but file, batch file. So we might run it the GUI file. So run GUI batch file. So we open it and uh, this is the, f the, the first visualization file that we get. We can pick a new seed, a random file, and we have various um, visualization files and configuration files to choose from. A nice one to show is the chord simulation with 50 nodes, 70 minutes, and there's an action file config defined which defines what the nodes should do. So we start the simulation and we get a um, progress bar how long the simulation takes. As here only 50 nodes are simulated, it's quite quick. This is the visualization of the network and uh, we can start it here. And you see some nodes appearing. We can adjust the simulation speed with this progress bar. It, it tells how many time steps are presented in a short instance. <coughs> and as you see, more and more nodes uh, appear. So Latin America, for example, Glasgow City, these are nodes from that corresponding points and they are picked from the global network positioning files that we place at the corresponding folders. Um, currently, the distances also reflect the delay between the nodes. On the left side, you can decide which information you want to know about the nodes. So, for example, which uh, node, which overlays to implement, what the current messages per seconds are, hosts in the finger table, and you can also uh, sh see a lot of information according to the network connections. So, for example, the lookup requests are depicted in red. Let's slow it down a bit. Okay, and uh, the finger are pointing that direction, the successor and predecessor uh, contacts. And we can also change from the topology based um, visualization to the schematic visualization. So this is, as you can see, here we have the global network positioning view with the delays and the positioning according to the landscape. And here we have a chord ring. <coughs> where we see more clearly the successors and predecessors, the fingers. So everything is fine. So this is the visualization of the node, of the chord ring. We can also adapt um, how the, the joints and the edges should be highlighted and according to which information the node sizes should be picked. For example, uh, number of messages per second. Okay, so this is the visualization of a uh, chord ring. And we just speed it up. What you can also do is to, you can jump in time with the lower progress bar. At least it should be doable. Yes. Okay. As you can see, this kind of information is only suitable for very few nodes. So if you would have uh, ten thousands or thousands of nodes, this visualization would not be very helpful. However, we managed to finish our first simulation. You don't want to save it. Okay, simulation finished. So this was the first 
description how we can do it. So we run the run GUI batch file. What you can also do is to create a new um, Eclipse application, a new Java application, and we can also let it run. So for that, just copy that. We go to run, run configuration. Uh, we create a new Java application. We name it like we want. Our second simulation. As a main class, we pick the GUI runner and then we let it run. For example, Contella 0.6 with Super Peers. And as you can see, we have a node in Denmark, which is super peer. I just uh, picked this description now, and a little bit slower. Oh, the simulation already ended. The third type of visualization is described here. So you can, of course, run down from the console. That helps you to have headless simulations and st strictly focus on the results. Now the last point that uh, is helpful to see when using a simulator is how do you know what the simulation results are. For that you can observe the simulation results first with the visualization environment that we used, but it's only useful up to 50 nodes for example, that's not very interesting. And we can obtain figures for papers or journal articles using GNUplot. For that we look into the outputs folder of the simulator. So just jumping back, so here we have the output folder and there we have also the results from our simulations and we see only two uh, fo files and if we have a look inside, there we see we have uh, the time in the first column, the time in minutes in the second, the present peers in the third, churn, uh, the left peers in the, four, in the fifth, um, we have number of lookups, number of lookup hops, and average, so we can all plot all these information. And this is very useful. So, where do we get the, the GNU plot files from? There we have some already uh, created in the code, in the GNU plot uh, scripts uh, folder. So we take it from there, copy it over to the output folder and run GNU plot on it. Yes, so we applied just uh, the corresponding plot file on the date, on the dat. So here we see the average uh, hop count, the number of peers in blue, um, the present peers, and this is the log of the peers and that's the average hop count and if we go on for example, to this one, the number of peers uh, present, the number of peers to join. For example, also how many pre-assessing nodes there are, how many are not included. So we get a quite long, as long as you wish, uh, description of the happenings. So this is where you should go to, to see your s simulations analyzed. If you want to have more information on Perfect Sim, just visit the website. It's uh, www.perfect.org, and there you find a lot of information. So feel free to contact us and to download the simulator and test whatever you would like to know. So thank you very much for your attention.